I worked hard. I didn't say he didn't work hard, but you did say he was going to be easy to hit. And I think that you did take more punches than you thought you would. So what went wrong during this fight? It's okay. Uh, I, want, I want to tell everybody, just thank you for coming out. And, uh, and honestly, happy Easter, everybody, you guys. Jesus. It's like Jesus re 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 resurrected, I'll be back. I want to tell everybody happy Easter and thank you for supporting me and following me. Thank you. All right, thank you, Rolly. And I wish you the best of luck in the future. Claudia, we'll send it over to you. What's happening, boxing? What's happening, YouTube? Amp about that boxing. Man, you know I got to talk about my man, Rolly Rolando Romero. Y'all seen it. Y'all heard it. Or should I say didn't hear it? Was Roly Romero quiet as hell in his post-fight interview? This man wishing us happy Easter, happy New Year, happy Thanksgiving. He was doing all kind of shit but answering them questions, wasn't he? Oh my God, Roly Rolando Romero, man. He goes to 15, 2 and 0 oh, and loses his WBA super lightweight champion. To my man, Isak Pitbull Cruz. Shout out to Isak, man. We all knew pretty much this is what was going to happen. I was trying to give Roly a chance, man. I was thinking maybe with his old coach, he would learn some new tricks. He did fight a smarter fight, or was he just scared once he felt that power? At first, it seemed like he was fighting a smarter, smarter fight, and then he started doing like dirty stuff. He got the point taken away for excessive holding. I mean, he was doing what he could, man. What can you do? I told y'all in the video that I posted yesterday at the weigh-in that Isak Pitbull Cruz looked like you could break a brick over his head, like a full slab, concrete slab over his head, and he would still be coming at you looking exactly how he was looking at Roly. He looked at Roly the same exact way the entire night. He never stops coming. This dude's at 140 now. He said he want anybody. He named all the top dogs. And of course, he named Javante Tank Davis. His only loss, his own, I mean, well, he has two losses, but his major loss, you know what I'm saying, was to Javante Tank Davis. All right. He wants that fight back. Now he has hardware. Somebody got to see him. Somebody got to see him. I mean, my man Roly said he was going to knock this guy out in the first round. <laughs> round eight. The ref was all but shielding Roly from a complete ass whooping. He literally saved Roly Rolando Romero's lights from going all the way out. His lights was kind of out in a post-fight interview. That's why it took him so long to answer questions. I don't even think he heard the questions, to be honest with you. He just, uh, yeah, um, um, he probably was hearing ringing the whole time that chick was talking. Woo, 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 woo. And then all of a sudden that shit cleared up and he was like, well, uh, Damn, I guess happy Easter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, was, he was shook. He was shook. There's an image. I got I to gotta get this still. One of the guys on his team behind him, man. This dude looks so mad like he wanted to punch Roly in the back of his head, man. It looked like Roly knows that, you know, he told the fans, thanks for coming out. Um, thanks for supporting me and, and following me and all that stuff. But it looks like he knows that his ride it's pretty much over. Like, they've kind of granted him two championships. And y'all know that the WBA belt belongs to Ishmael Barroso. Like, truthfully, that's who was supposed to be holding that belt. And Roley got gifted that belt. So, he showed that on the championship level, he can't hold up. He doesn't have a chin. He has no adjustments. He has one style of fighting, pretty much. Um, he did use his jab, which I was like, wow, okay, he, he developed a little jab. You know, he tried. The guy tried, but Roley's not dedicated to this sport. He said he's not really. He's always complaining about, you know, uh, having to give up his vices for training. You know what I'm saying? So 
he's not really, you know what I'm saying? He's not really built for boxing, not on that level until he could come to grips and say, hey, this is what I really want to do and really clamp down and find what's good for him and work with that. Now, y'all know, I really got to wonder what Coach Bullet is saying right now. What was Coach Bullet thinking when he saw Roly Romero get shut down? Y'all know we got to know. Somebody finna interview him. We'll see the interview. It's going to pop up. Trust me. Shout out to Coach Bullet, man. You know, because his power is not showing up on the elite level. It's just not. But Isak Pitbull Cruz's power is showing up. It's showing up. Um, I think that Tank should take that fight again. I don't think that he whooped him definitively enough. And he's a guy that went the full distance with Tank. And many people, many people thought that that fight should have been a draw. And some even thought Isak Pitbull Cruz won that fight. So I didn't see Isak winning that fight. I saw Tank winning that fight. But I could see the argument from a diehard fan or just from a, a fan perspective of hey i'm an isak pitbull cruise fan that looked too close you know not to run that back you know what i mean that should have been a draw so anyway we'll see what comes of it uh we'll see what happens with roly rolando ramiro when he wakes up you know tomorrow or or uh next thursday when he wake up and realize he doesn't have his title and everything for real um we'll see if he stays quiet or if he comes right out and, you know, gives Fight Hub or Fight Hype or somebody an interview because he, he messed with them guys like that. So we'll see what happens with that. But, man, big ups to Isak Pitbull Cruz. This is one of my favorite fighters today. Manny picked a winner. He picked a real hardcore Mexican-style slug fest, never stop coming boxer. This dude has no jab in his arsenal. This dude literally barely uses a jab ever. I don't, man, he might have threw two jabs ever in his life. It, that was probably in the gym. This dude is straight power shots, hooks, uppercuts, crosses. He was tearing Roly's body down, tearing it down. So, man, I want to uh, wish Roly to get well, man. Heal up. I, I want to hear him talk trash again, man, but he going to have to change the level of Roly just going to have to be uh, uh, maybe he should go mess with Jake Paul and them and, you know, get him some set up fights and just talk trash. And he could probably sell that. But, man, on the elite level, he just doesn't have it. Um, Isak Pitbull Cruz is a danger to 140. He says he'll fight anybody there at 140. He named off names. I'm not sure if I heard him say Matias, but I know I heard him say Devin Haney. Uh, I know I heard him say Tank Davis. Um, I believe he said Tiafimo. So he just wants, he wants to collect them belts. And he says that we got a champion that's going to be here for a long time. So big shout out, much love to Isak Pitbull Cruz, man, on a great victory. And shout out to his family, man. Get home to your family and celebrate your championship at 140, my guy. I'm out of here. That's all I got, man. Be sure y'all press them notifications, man. Like, subscribe to the channel, man. Let's get them likes up too. Facts. Anyway, that's all I got for this one, man. I'm out of here. And about that boxing.